Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome on back to Minecraft Survival. Last episode was episode 50 of this entire series and we toured the world. I showed you guys all of what I've built, not just in the new world here, but also in the old world, which is still the same world, it's just a few thousand blocks away. And we also discovered that our horses had done a great escape on us and had escaped out and over. What they were doing was they were actually pathfinding up here then from over here onto the vents. I caught them doing it when I was recording the intro earlier, but I ended up messing that up. So we had to push this back a little bit here just to stop them, and they don't seem to be getting out. I also moved one of the hay bales that was around here just in case that was how they were getting out and put a little bit of a, a patch here in the middle. So yeah, so what do I want to do in this episode? Well, I want to deal with our food situation, which is something that we started dealing with in episode 49. I was going to say the last episode, but the last episode was the world tossed so, no, up. It was the episode before that where we put up this barn here. And what I want to do is I want to have some animal pens out the back here that have all the different animals in it. Now, I only want to have three animals in this in these particular pens, not all of them, but I want to have sheep, cows, and pigs. And all of those farms are just going to be purely for slaying the animals in. So, we're not going to have the sheep in this farm be for wool. I want to create like an auto tree farm somewhere else, maybe over that side, that actually has all the different colors of wool in it. This one is going to be purely to slay for food. And I want to have like some different pens going here. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking about where I want this pathway to go. And I think I may bring it over here and around here. Oh, ink. So that's going to be an important thing. But the first thing that I need to do is I need to start leveling this land out. Because if we look now, this really isn't all that level. So I th I don't know if I want to go up one or if I want to keep this at the same level. But I want to fill this in at least up until over there and sort of bring it around the river. So I've got to chop down some of these trees. And I've already been out and gathered myself up some dirt for this. Because remember, we were struggling for dirt. I've got a bunch of dirt and grass here. So I'm hoping that's going to be enough. But I think that's kind of like my first task for today on this. And I've got a really cool idea of something that I want to incorporate into this. You see, my, my vision is that all these animals, well, they're going to produce a lot of waste. Let's put it that way. And we, we kind of had this in here where we had some pods all dotted around to signify them pooping. <laughs> and I thought, well, what, what would you do with all of that waste? And... I thought, what about if we have like a big hole somewhere around? It's all kind of fenced in and everything. And that's just where they dump it all to sort of like compost down. I'm not into farming, so I don't know what they'd actually do to deal with it. But I want to create something that just feels believable in my head. And I feel like maybe dumping that all in a hole would be a good idea. Maybe that damaged the earth in real life. But in this world, it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of pixels. So it should be okay. So yeah, I kind of want to incorporate that into it. So... I'm going to go sleep because it's nearly night, and I'm going to start filling this in. And when i got something to show you, I'll bring you on back. Well, we've got it brought up somewhat, but I am running out of dirt, and my shovel is nearly dead. So I think it's time that I run back and repair up our items. But this is how much I've brought it up so far. I want to finish filling in just over here, this this hole here. To, this one right here, I want to fill this in, uh, and then maybe fill this one in to about... Here, and then I think I'll call it good and we can start the building. So, what I need to do now is I need to run over to the old world to go ahead and repair up our shovel. Now, when it comes to running to the old world, I'm happy to run to repair, but not to gather resources just yet. I want a reason why we're getting the resources. I want it to be involved in the law. However, for the repairing of the tools, I don't really care too much about the law and that because it's just allowing us to do stuff. But I did take a death. I, I got blown up by a creeper and... Of all days today, I should not be playing Minecraft. It's 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 been one of those days, you know, where you wake up in the morning and you fall out of bed. And then as you get up and you get dressed, you put your leg in your trousers and you fall over. You hit the wardrobe. The wardrobe falls on top of you. You become a human pancake. It's, it's just one of those days. Then when you brush your teeth, you end up pouring all of the toothpaste all over your hand. And you end up brushing your hair with the wrong brush. And before you know it, you've got toothpaste in your hair. You know, it's been one of those days where anything that can go wrong does go wrong for me today. So, yeah, I'm going to run back, repair up, and then I'm going to fill in those holes, and then I'll be back with well, you. Well, I've got my shovel all repaired up, and I went ahead and got myself a shulker box full of dirt and grass to go ahead and fill the rest of this area in. I've been mining it from over there. There's like a couple of hills just over there in the plains that I want gone for when I build in that plains. So it just makes sense to level them now and get the dirt from there. 
But we've got a mixture of dirt and grass here. I've got a full shulker box and a little bit on us. So I'm going to get to filling these in and then we can start getting these animal pens in place. Well, guys, we've got it all filled in now and it's looking good. I've brought it all up over here as well. We got the last bit of a tree just sort of disappearing here. And I want to talk briefly about what my plan is. So I'd like to be able to come out of the barn and have sort of like a fenced in area that sort of like leads us maybe to here. And I'd like to have a bit of a gate here. I'm thinking that leads us onto the fields. Like this will probably be the end. Uh, well, this this I want to loop around here. The, the sort of road around this bit here. Go around here. So I may have to bring that road in later. But I, I want to get the shape of this pen in. Because I'd like to have two different pens. I'd like to have like an inner pen. Which is one where we walk. And then have it split up into three different roads. And unlike when I did the barn. I've actually brought a bed with me. To save me running back to the to the wagon. I know we're, we're focusing on law in this place. But there's no need for me to keep running back there. Even though I would do. It's fine to do this. So yeah. I'm going to get some of this put into place. And when I've got something to show you. I'll bring you on back. So the first thing that I like to do. Whenever I'm doing a build. And I'm unsure about exactly how I want to look. Is I get a planning stage done. And this is kind of the planning stage here. And all I've done is literally outlined pretty much how they're going to look. If we go up on top of the barn, we can actually get a better look. And of course, typical YouTuber fashion, as soon as you hit record, it's nighttime. But it's alright, we've got enough daytime left to show you. So this is kind of the animal pen that I'm going for. We're going to put cows in the big one, because obviously they're going to be the ones that we're going to be utilizing more. And then we'll probably put pigs and sheep in these side ones. Now, I didn't want them to all be even. I'm kind of like the way that they are now. Uh, it kind of like segmented off. These look more natural, the outside one. Like we kind of went with what we could go with. And these look more purpose built, which is exactly the kind of thing that I'm going for. This one has an elevation change. I don't know if I'm going to bring that down. Because I, I like the idea that these drop down uh, when we're inside the pen and you come up to leave the pen. So I think I might actually just incorporate that and not call of this down. But now I've got this in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build on what I've got here by adding in just certain things that I think will look nice. And one of the things that I want to add in are more fence posts. So if I go into my inventory, I've actually got some oak logs here. If we were to go in here, I'd like to have some fence posts. Like if we look here, okay, why don't we just take this out? And as opposed to having logs, sorry, fences here, why don't we just have a log there and we'll strip that. And there we go. And maybe I want to add a, another stripped log in here. Here. Now we have to make them too tall so that the animals don't crawl over them. And then maybe here. And I, I know we could have like reason behind where we put these. Like we could have them on the end. But I like dotting them around just sort of randomly. Because I think that, that just makes it look kind of unique and different if we were to have them all in the same place. I think this one might have a reason because it's a, it's a sort of like connecting point there. There's three. So maybe that one does have a reason there. But already that's sort of like made it seem a little bit more interesting and really we haven't done much in the way of anything we've literally spent two seconds we've added that and that's already looking much better and i kind of want to get that going all the way around the outside and that's something that when you when you're building don't be afraid to sort of like do little things like this to add things in you know build or something just because you've got something like this you know we could have called the animal pen done and it would have been fine with just the fence but we're just adding little things into it to make it a little bit more. And one thing that I've done, if you look here, we've got spruce fences and oak logs. Whereas over here, we've got the oak logs. Or we've got the uh, spruce fences and the spruce logs. And I just kind of changed the wood here, these fence posts. And I deliberately did this. This wasn't a mistake. It was just to kind of set it apart from the stable. Just to make it sort of stand out a little bit. And don't be afraid to use that. I've also used the oak doors here, the oak gates to sort of like... Let us in. Now, normally I build on the three, but with gates I build on the two. I just find it easier to get animals through two as opposed to one. So we normally build on odd numbers. This is an even number. That's what I'm trying to say. And this just makes it easier to get animals in. I find them a real pain to get through just one. They tend to get stuck. So I've also got to populate this as well. So I'm going to get some more of this work done. And when I've got something to show you, I'll bring you on back. Welcome on back, folks. And as you can see, I've got the animals in place and the pillars in place. And this already looks a thousand times better than what it previously did. It, it, yeah. Words. Words sometimes. Words can be extremely difficult to form in a sentence. It's unbelievable. I've bred up all of them to make sure that we do have... Because I, I couldn't remember if it was carrots for these, but it is. I haven't bred pigs in years. But I think, I think the last time I did this was on Endless Survival, like three, four years ago now. But, yeah. So, 
It is weak for both of these two that I knew. I just I thought it was carrots for these, but I wanted to confirm, and it was. We got a little baby, little baby pig in there. Now, pigs, in my opinion, are one of the most pointless mobs within Minecraft. Like, they don't really serve much of a purpose apart from food. Like, we could get we get leather from cows, we could get wool from sheep, but from pigs, we just get pork chops, and that that that's kind of met in my opinion. They need more of a more of a purpose, more of a feature. You know, it'd be nice if we could get something else from them. But yeah, or maybe the pork chop is better nu nutritious wise for us, that'd be nice as well. But yeah, at least we can start moving on from just eating what animals I'm killing around me. I didn't actually have to travel too far for these. I thought I'd have to travel a bit for pigs, because they killed off all the pigs for food earlier. But looks like we, we had some around here. So yeah. So I think the next thing that I want to do is add like a bit of a gate to this. Because right now we've just got these here. And I'd like to have a little bit of an actual gate to it. So I'm going to get on that. And then I'll be back with you. And have a look. You can see it coming into view now. I think it's come out really well. It really fits in with the theme of the village. It's like a little farming village that we've been doing. Oh, that looks lovely. Look at that. That looks really nice. Now, I've tried to go a lot heavier in the pig pen. Because pigs are notoriously really dirty creatures. That's is where you get the saying a pigsty from, because that is essentially a pigsty. It looks like crap. So I've tried to really smash up the ground a lot more within the pig pen than I have in the other two. And I've tried to be very, very light on the sheep one, so they still have grass to graze on. And they're going to be turning some of that grass into dirt on a regular basis anyway. So it'll look more smashed up as time goes on. I've sort of like brought it in here as well again we're using the puzzle to signify animal waste and i've been looking into actually how animals our farmers get rid of their animal waste and what they actually do is they use it as fertilizer so as i said at the beginning of this episode i wanted to do like a big hole with it in and i think i still want to do that just not in this episode because to be honest i think i want to put that near the fields and i'm not sure exactly where i want the fields to go yet but i definitely since i now know that they use that as fertilizer did a bit of research on Google. I think it would be useful to actually incorporate that into this farm and settlement. And give me something to do with the fields. To have a couple of those holes sort of dotted around near the fields. Where they just take this from a wheelbarrow and tip it in. That's something that I meant to do that I haven't done. I meant to put some wheelbarrows around here. So I'm going to get on that in a moment. Because I still I want to work on bringing this road to about here-ish. So just sort of bringing this road down and around here. I don't know if I want to like stake it around there. And then stake it around there and have a little garden just sort of like where it goes there but then again where will it go over here because uh, I, I don't want to bring it around so it kind of like go to a dead end here and then there's no real like bridge whereas i could put a bridge if i was to bring it down diagonally i could put a diagonal bridge going across here or maybe i bring it to around here uh, and we have a straight bridge going across because it's definitely easier to do a straight bridge than it is a diagonal bridge but then again we could also have a diagonal bridge here we could have a diagonal bridge here and a straight bridge there. Or maybe I could see you bringing the path even further around on this side. So we bring it to, I don't know, maybe about here and we have a couple of bridges in. I think actually I may do that. I may bring it around here. I'm not going to bring it all the way around in this episode though. Probably just bring it to about here in this episode. Are you one of my horses? Yes. And you've gotten out. So they're still able to get out. There must be, no, they can't jump on there. It's too small. I don't know. Maybe you glitched through the fence. Maybe. But yeah, so I'm going to get some wheelbarrows put in and I'm going to bring this road around. Now I'm struggling for coarse stir, so I've got to go find some gravel and stuff to get some more coarse stir. So I've got to go and do that. But I wanted to just have a little bit of a talk with you guys, just briefly. I've been sleeping on top of my barn and then I realized I actually had a bed inside the barn this whole time. I forgot I put that down at the beginning of the episode. So I've been, I've been flying up here just to sleep and there's one inside the barn. But can I just say like a massive thank you to everyone? Like, Right now, I made a video like, should I quit YouTube uh, about a month and a half ago where I was debating how much time I'd put into YouTube and how little I, growth I'd gotten. But over the past month, the growth has been, for my channel, it's been ridiculous. For most channels, it's next to nothing. But you know, th this month alone, we've had 20 plus subs and I don't think I've ever had 20 plus subs in a year, let alone a month. So it really is paying off. The more time I'm putting into YouTube, it's really paying off. And people are really, really liking it. And I'm getting the comment that I'm underrated all the time, which is a great comment to get. So 
keep that up. I like that comment, and it's a lot of people are subbing because of it. So yeah, I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing and helping and supporting the channel. It really does mean the world to me, and I am so grateful for it, guys. It's finally nice to see the channel actually moving forward at a, at a reasonable rate now, as opposed to where it was before. It just wasn't moving forward at a reasonable rate. It was just kind of stuck. So it's really great there. I, I don't know if it had anything to do with changing a couple of things uh, in terms of the YouTube out algorithm, or if it's just... Uh, the content I'm producing is better now than what it was. I know I'm happy with it, so thank you so much. Anyway, I'm going to get on this, and I'll bring you back when i got something to show you. One more time, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. Thank you. I've finished for today. Let's have a little look. This is how it looks looking now. Oh, this looks lovely. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Let's just get rid of this bed real quick, and then we can have a proper look. Oh, this looks good. I might actually go and put some grass in the fields. I think that might be a thing that we can do real quickly. Uh, get rid of this. Just a little bit of grass. Get rid of the too tall grass. There we go. That that helps it out just a little bit. Now let's put some in the pig pen. The problem I, I have is whenever I bone meal, I always get a too tall grass. So let's go with that. Now I haven't seen any of these escape. One pig did get out of here, but that, that was my fault. For leaving this open. There's enough pigs in there to breed up. We do need to breed up the animals. That's one thing that we do need to do. Let me just grab some grass. Just have the odd bit. Sort of like around here. No, I don't want too much here. Because this will obviously be a lot trampled. You know we'd, we'd have the farmer working a lot here. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. There we go. Possibly do some of this in the horses. thing. Because I don't think we've got any sort of grass growing in the horses stable. No it's pretty bare. But yeah, so I've gone ahead and I've done the road. Oh, jeez. Now I'm falling off of here. Come on, let me get up. Yes. So I've done the road. I put a rock there, a boulder in the middle. I wanted to kind of break up having trees. Then we got three different trees there. They're, they're the same, except for this one's a bit short. I accidentally made this one a bit too big. And then when I noticed, I was like, you know, I'm going to keep two just a little bit bigger. And now we've got the brazers going on. We've got the berry bushes, which look a lot better when they're grown like this with the berries on them than they do when they're sort of growing. But it would be nice if we could have a way to sort of like halt the growth of them. But we can't. Like it would be really cool if we could have different stages of wheat. And also do that with this. That would be really cool. That would be a feature I'd like added. Because that would be really nice to have. Just allows us to make crop fields look a little bit more realistic. But as we come through here you can see that the pathway breaks off in two different directions. This way here. I've done it to this edge here. Because I'm not. Like I said I'm not going to go over here. Because I'm not 100% certain if I do want to go over here yet. Or if I want to like. Like, terraform this hill and have a pathway going here. I, I like that idea, but I'm not sure that's what happened to my saddle, is it? These horses still keep getting out. So, I, they're, they're getting out somewhere else. I'm going to have to keep an eye on them. I've got to go wrangle them back in again. So, yeah. And what we've done over here is, like I said, we've brought this path here. But we've also brought it around over here. Which is where I want to do a diagonal bridge. Now, I've never done a diagonal bridge before. But it'll be fun to do one. I don't know when I'm going to do this bridge. It's not a future project that's in the works just yet. It's more something that I'll be doing when I connect this up. And then obviously we'll go over here and have a plain, regular, sort of like slanted bridge that goes normal. Yeah, words. They worked out really well there. So I'm kind of like really happy with how this has turned out. This, this village is really coming along. I'm, I'm really enjoying... Working on this village, and of course I didn't get on the top. There we go. I really, really enjoy working on this farm and settlement. It's just really nice to have. It's, it's I'm putting a lot more time into this and spending a lot more time on this than I was previous videos. Because I, I'd only get like one to two hours to record a Minecraft video before, but obviously with the lockdown and everything, I'm getting a lot more time on my hands, and this is really how I'm choosing to spend it. His build of this, so we can see the pathway with the cobblestone again. Using the cobblestone. I think I'd like to add something in here to take away from the grass. But as for right now, it's good the way it is. It's looking really, really nice. And I, I can't wait to get this whole settlement done. I think it's going to look really nice when it's done. But it, it's a work in progress. It's going to take a few more episodes. I don't think we're anywhere near finished yet. Uh, some of the future projects are obviously the farmhouse to go in the middle. I do want some walls on this side over here and on this side over here. And on the other side of the walls, the outside of the walls, we're going to have a bunch of fields. 
But I want to keep this a farming settlement. Maybe we'll have a couple of other houses dotted around. Maybe we'd have a shop in here where he'd sell his goods. We'd have a bit of a warehouse where we'd store our goods and stuff like that. But I, I'm going to work them in as and when we go. I think the next project that I want to work on is definitely the farmhouse. I think it's going to look really cool when we do the farmhouse. But yeah, I think that's going to call it for this episode, guys. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel and I really do appreciate it. So, please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.